Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have right here with me the new Jaguar e 2019 Air Dynamic uh, model and I'm, I'm really happy to uh, review this car for you. Here you have some information about the car, 250 horsepower uh, on this car, the price 69,000, around 70,000 70, francs, dollar, um, yeah, in euro around 68, 67,000 euro uh, is the price of this uh, new Jaguar e piece. Uh, this is kind of full tech uh, option that you can take. And you can see here it has new black rims uh, with this red beautiful color. I like so, so much this uh, red dark color. It's, it's super beautiful on the car. Uh, also, the car come with a lot of new technology um, and uh, great, great shapes and design uh, in the interior. Also, the new LED lamps uh, in the back, also in the front. We have also uh, LED lamps here on the number plate, uh, the back camera as well. It's down there. Also, the brake light up here. Um, it's, it's super, super nice. Down there we have the two exhaust pipe. They are super nice integrated into the, the back bumper or uh, air diffuser in the back. The red lines look super nice down there and the shape, it's, it's, it's great. Uh, and it has also a, a big ground clearance. Uh, something that I wish was different, those rims, but not ev not everybody like the same things. The black glossy rims, uh, I wish they were other color. I don't really like these black rims, I don't know why. But the black rims on the car, I don't like it. We have P0 Firelli tires uh, and we have like 20 inch wheels, uh, rims right here, uh, kind of big. And also, I want to show you something really great. This plastic here around the edges of the car, it's to protect the paint of the car from the stones of the road or from the rust in time. The sparking sensors right here in the back. We have six sparking sensors in the back. Really, really nice. Also, I like this black glossy plastic uh, up here on the roof. And I also like like the same uh, black glossy plastic around the, the, the windows. The, that looks super nice. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, it looks super, super nice. I see it on many, many cars these days. Uh, Range Rover as well. I see it on BMW. And um, yeah, also on the many cars. Also the same black glossy here around the windows, uh, around the mirrors uh, look very nice. We have the blind spot technology, you can see it there, up there in the corner. Also the blinkers are in black, you can see uh, those are made with big style and they look nice. Also down here we have an LED light that illuminate in the night, black glossy uh, there. Also here we have the Jaguar SE uh, logo and this extra uh, plastic uh, parts right there in the front, the same plastic to protect the edges of the car uh, from chips and stones, the parking sensors in the front uh, and uh, the grill, the new full LED lamps, uh, Jaguar LED technology, you can see there the signature, uh, they are super good in the night and they are also adaptive. They are, they are fantastic. Also up there on the windscreen, we have the camera for a lane assist. Uh, down here we have the LED fog lamp. Uh, they are also super nice. And the grill that, uh, that look in my opinion, very, very cool. Uh, also, they are kind of close inside. The air go on the uh, side there. If you see, you can see on the other side, the air goes here in the grill and then the air go uh, side of the car for better aerodynamic. The design, it's, it's well made. Also, the hood look nice with that shapes there. Um, look pretty nice. Also, the front grill 
um, here behind the, the, the logo we have the uh, radar, the adaptive cruise control radar, the plastic black glossy grill with the air dynamiter in the left right. Uh, looks pretty nice. I wish, in my opinion, I don't like so much these black rims. I wish it was different. I wish the rims was um, kind of gray, uh, other color anyway. Yeah, but uh, that's it. Also, now let's go inside the car. I have automatic lift gate here in the trunk and Let's see the space here. We have two handles, LED lamps up here. Uh, pretty useful. I like the fact that this protection for the trunk is up here. So it's no more down. So you don't have to touch it or move it all the time you open the trunk. Also, you have this extra, uh, extra thing here that you can take it out when you carry long items. Um, the, the trunk is big, it has a lot of uh, space in the trunk 12 volt port as you can see here, um, it's pretty awesome, uh, I like it very much also, we have the ho hooks here, also under the floor, we have a lot of space where you can put some things, also the repair kit, triangle and all that stuff are right there in the back. Now, um, I like the trunk, it's quite, quite spacious. This cross USU SUV, I can say it has a lot of space uh, in the trunk. Now, I just want to pull down the seat and see how many space we have here. So I try to leave it down right now and we have kind of a lot of space here in the trunk. Uh, no complaining at all. I like the fact that I have some space down here on the legs So where you can put some stuff extra stuff there Also in the trunk you can load it with with plenty of stuff a lot of stuff you can put there So you can even sleep here uh, in my opinion, so it's, it's quite good It's quite good. I like it. I like it very much. So I just close the trunk right now and let's go inside the car now guys to show you the rest of the car uh all right all right all right like uh matthew mcgonnery said uh, if you know it also to take out this this seat belt you have to, to pull it out first time and then push the seat on the back also the doors are great great quality um as you touch it they feel nice also down here we have handle, we have this leather here with white stitches, uh, the button also with chrome on it, we have some chrome down here, chrome around the speaker and some space storage space down here where you can leave your bottle or whatever you have. So anyway, down here, the down part, it's made from plastic. Also here we have plastic on the side. So it's not like his little brother XE where we have leather. Uh, in this one we have some plastic. The, the seat actually are great. They look nice. They feel nice. They are leather, white stitches, uh, well made. Little holes here uh, for a better... That, that little holes help you to not sweat in the summer so much when you sit on them. Also two cup holders and an armrest. Also, this is pretty nice. You can open it from here, from this button, pull it up, and you can put your phone here or wherever you you want to. So it's pretty useful, uh, better than in other uh, cars. I like the shape of the of the seats. I like that they are they are soft and they are comfortable for long trips as well. The vents are also nice, 12 volt port, a small space here to carry your stuff. And then in the middle we have this step, kind of step there. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but it's it's okay. It's not an electric car. If you want no step there, you have to take an electric car. So up here on the roof, we have this big, beautiful sunroof that looks fantastic. 
uh, one of my favorite to see this in the car it's it's gorgeous for the passenger in the back is the best thing can happen with them when you drive like that uh, between the mountains it's it's fantastic also a lot of space on my legs here i can stretch my legs and my knee great a lot of space i like that i also like the window it's from one piece and i have good visibility uh, outside so it's it's kind of good my space on my head it's also great i have a lot of space on my head there so i like it i like the comfort i like the led lights in the interior of the car the quality of the roof is nice this big big window here it's it's gorgeous great job this is a big plus for this e piece uh, and i like it going in the middle it's quite easy i have some space on my on my knee a lot of space this is a normal position the other seat not uh, some two three fingers on my head there if i go a little bit in the front i actually mm, yeah it's good it's good it's very good i have a lot of space no complaining at all even three people can fit here really well mm, maybe for long trips as well so great job jaguar great job with this e piece you did a great job so many people can sit in this car for even long trips in the back so so i like it i like this e piece i like it very much but i have to say i like it more the e piece the electric version it's it's fabulous but let's stick with the plan let's stick with the car uh, in the front also great great quality down here we have the the buttons for electric seats you can save the position down here leather also an led ambient light in the interior the uh, handles chrome handles meridian speaker uh, down there some storage space we have leather with stitches good quality i was expecting to have much more storage space here in the door but i guess yeah it's okay but i wish it has a little bit more space aerodynamic logo here at the entrance in the car uh, as well look nice electric seats uh, adjustable pretty awesome they are very responsive very good uh, great quality they look very nice i like the black leather with the white stitches uh, it look actually it look good it look clean it look premium it look um, nice we have side support and and also aluminium pedals the car have aluminium pedals electric handbrake uh, here we have some chrome design on the bands as well the chrome it's on the stick and right here around the bands i like the rubber here we have some chrome with rubber so it's no plastic it's just rubber great quality so great job jaguar you make the great great job with these bands uh, they are good quality going inside also on the dashboard leather there we have head up display super, super nice and also uh, around the dashboard all over leather with white stitches fantastic quality uh, great great visibility from the driver point of view also here we have stitches with leather around that come down here to the center console and then again this armrest the same same uh, stitches you can see all over the car a lot of white stitches that make the car look super nice two usb port sim card port 12 volt port down here and a lot of space down there also two cup holders uh pretty awesome and very useful down here you can also take this out if you need more space there and you have a huge space here in the middle i like that this is another extra plus bonus for this car so every time i thumbs up that means the car has an extra great thing something that i like it in comparison with the other cars you already see my reviews you know i make a lot of review on my channel uh, you can also check out the other uh, hundreds car that i review before and 
you know what I'm talking about. I see a lot of car every day and I like this quality of this car interior. So anyway, if you didn't see the other videos, you can check out my other videos on the channel. Also, you can subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and like it. And uh, again, for the people that already subscribed to my channel, thank you very much, guys. Um, and uh, thank you for watching my videos. Anyway, let's go forward. We have a head-up display there. I will show you a little bit later in the video. Uh, and I will go through all detail about it. It's, it's fantastic. Now, around it, you have this chrome design that look nice. The steering wheel, it's, it's gorgeous, good quality, nice stitches, leather. You can see it for yourself. Also down here we have manually adjustable steering wheel. You can pull this down and then you can adjust it the way you want it front, back, pretty easy. Nothing complicated. Most of the car have this uh, inside then. Now air from Air Dynamics logo, chrome design. The buttons are also good quality and nice. No complaining at all. I will tell you when it's something not okay but clappers plastic clappers for changing the gear manually if you want to you have this option also i like those i like those so much those sticks with chrome look at the chrome look at the quality look at the finishing they look super nice super super nice good quality great job jaguar i like them very much also, this one in this side is the same, almost the same design, the start-stop button, not so beautiful, but it's okay. It's better than the key, better than start the engine with the key. Here we have the stick for changing the gear, uh, and it's, it's kind of simple and nice, nothing complicated. Uh, it's just usually those buttons are for uh, changing the settings, driving settings, race mode, different modes sport mode, echo mode, and something like that. So button here for uh, start stop and all that stuff. Down here we have plastic. I don't know why they put this cheap plastic down here. 12 volt port and a space for your phone down there. Um, quite, quite useful. Going up here is the climatic system. You will see it in the moment. Also with chrome around it buttons for different settings from the climatic system and up there we have some chrome and then the infotainment system that it's gorgeous and it's the same on the all models from jaguar in 2019 the newer the newest model come with this uh, multimedia system and it's it's fantastic one of the best good quality uh, nice image uh, it has great colors uh, it's work perfect you can connect your phone you can even um, uh, change different settings on the car the cameras you have valet mode in this car jaguar something that it's cool you can you can adjust it the way you want it the gps it's also great you have 3d map it's work fast it's connected to the internet and, and it's, it's one of the best look how how nice the software, the graphic behind it, the the hardware behind this uh, behind this uh, multimedia system, it's one of the best. You can see here it's loading very fast, almost faster like a computer. In one second, it's it's one of the best. So I like it, and also the position, it's it's very good here. But yeah, anyway. It's very simple. You go through menu, very simple. You have the shortcut button here. Uh, you can adjust and customize the way you want in the home page. The mirror up here, it's very nice. Also, skinny edges, uh, fancy LED lamp up here. Another plus for the car. We have full LED inside the car. The light, all the light, it's LED. Here are the buttons for the sunroof and here we have the glass space also again the mirror with LED light very good great job 
really really nice the roof and the quality inside on the roof it's good and yeah I guess uh, this is all but something that I want to show you more is the the, the um, sunroof from the front side look at this sunroof this is my favorite thing on this car one of my favorite thing this and the seats the nice seats uh, I like them and also another favorite thing uh, about this car I will show you in a moment uh, it is the digital cockpit and uh, uh, multimedia system the digital cockpit it's one of my favorite in this car this car have a few things my that I like it very much and one of them it's this uh, multimedia system and I will show you right uh, right now so all right let's go so here are uh, here is the key of the car if you're wondering how the key is looking like it's looking like that here are the light the ambient light you have ambient light in the interior here is the climatic system the way you can change it the different settings open close stuff like that up here we have uh, the cockpit my favorite cockpit the best best digital cockpit and I love it also I love this ambient light in the interior I make the car look better not like Mercedes <laughs> not like the newest is Mercedes but it's look good it's look nice anyway the cockpit it's fabulous great resolution great colors great customizable option so you can customize this cockpit uh, the way you want it in different ways something that i like very much uh, is this thing that i can customize it in many 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 ways so you can see in the middle you can change different settings um, for example here is the uh, assisted system assistant system where you can find collision systems uh, emergency brake warning uh, for example the the blind spot and all that stuff you can also change it activate it or deactivate it uh, from this menu here you can activate the different uh, security settings if I can say like that or safety settings so you can actually um, adjust it from here and it's quite quite uh, useful in my opinion also you can put your navigation for example if you if you load up the navigation here in the map you can also see it on the cockpit I'll try to show you in a moment so um, also if you see in the left side there we have the speed limit so the car can read the speed limit um, and I will also show you I like the way the visibility is in the car um, the visibility is super super good I try to, to I'm not sure how can you do that but I want to I want to load up the navigation there also the camera I think I didn't show you before I forget to show you you have a camera here the back camera you can go from menu and you can see the back camera all the time while you're driving uh, super nice and also useful and then I don't here you can change also different settings from the display uh, like this like uh, display tema you can change the tem or you can change the brightness and stuff like that nothing fancy I'm searching for something uh, display eye here are some information about the car I, I show you this before I think ah here are the ambient light in the interior this is something that I want to show you so there is the light you can see you can change different colors this is super nice you change the color and then you see this color inside the car so that's, that's another super nice thing the smart settings here you can save different things about the car Here we have the valet mode, you can put the car in valet mode, the echo, 
there on the echo mode you can see different settings about the car and this is the home screen that you can also customize it the way you want it now the cockpit um, I just want to go to the cockpit to show you a few things uh, right there in the middle so you can change it you can see you can put some favorite you have quail you have also information about the car head-up display you can change different things on the head-up display for example now you can see the head-up display there you can choose what you would like to, to see on the head-up display for example the speed the navigation and all other settings that you want to see it on them the display here when you go to the display you can choose if you want to see this map right here something that I tell you before you can actually see the map on the main screen there you can choose to see it on the full screen or you can also choose to see it on the on the middle just just like uh, just like you want to see the other things like speedometer and thermometer also you have other settings here for example at uh, driving miles you can see in miles or in kilometer you can see the temperature in Fahrenheit or whatever you want to see here's the, the language you can also change the language very easy from here so you have all the uh, display now in English for example and I change it for you just to show you how simple is that so in units you can change the units you can see the full map or you can deactivate the full map trip here you have the trip information trip a trip b uh, also um, you can change it again driving driver assistant collision keeping lane assistant speed limit aware driving condition monitor and all that stuff it's it's quite cool to see you have so many safety feature on this on this car favorite quell here you can add different stuff vehicle information about the car the tires the pressure the next service the alarm and all that stuff that are uh, that are important for the car and yeah i think you get the point there is the view with the full camera uh, with the full navigation in the front and it's also uh, looking very nice and uh, very 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 useful in my opinion also pushing the, the button you change the display and you have there uh, a lot of information about the car about the driving uh, distance and yeah all that stuff you you actually change the settings from here you can see from this uh, left buttons on the steering wheel there you can change different settings and uh, you can put wherever you want to put to show you directly there in the front so there is the speed limit as you see it before uh, and on the other side is the turometer uh, is digital and this is also the speedometer the gas how many how much gas you still have it and i guess that was my review guys i hope you enjoyed the review i hope it was helpful for you Thank you for watching. Check out my other videos, guys, uh, with other new cars. And again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and see you soon, guys.